Oh hi folks. Just some clip you can hear. Welcome back. So we're at the new and branch in Truro. And I wanted to go and fly the drone, but it said compass calibration required, so unfortunately we'll not be able to fly it tonight. Mind you, we're gonna give it a go down here in a minute. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get it up in a minute. <coughs> but we'll see. Can't promise anything. So it looks like it's, uh, well at the moment, it's just uh, the Newham Branch Explorer at night. So, yeah, sometimes folks, doesn't matter how much planning you do, sometimes things just go tits up. And unfortunately, tonight is one of those occasions which is an utter pain in the backside. <coughs> so I've seen a sign down here a minute ago saying that they've put cameras up down through here. So if they have, and it's in night vision, you guys will be able to see them glowing. And there's some more. Is that people? No. No, it's not. See them things glowing down there? Some kind of cones of some description. So if we put the lights out, look, that's all we can see. <laughs> Which the light does help the night vision, they've done it folks. You can imagine when they blasted this out. God. Irish navvies. It might have been Irish Navis, it might have been uh, other folk. So I don't really know what's going on with the bloody drone. Mind you, I did have to download the app again, because like I said on one of the previous videos, I copped it up from my own fault. So this is the true side of the Newham branch. At least we've got a video for you guys tonight. I was hoping to get up to around the cathedral <coughs> to uh, fly the drone around there, but it wasn't to be. So with the greatest respect, I do apologise, folks. So like I said on previous videos, we've got a few locations lined up to film. Uh, we've got a couple of derelict farms down, down the Lizard Way. Uh, I know they're abandoned because we sent the drone over a couple of days ago before this problem that I've got aired itself so it's the machine itself is working all right it's just the software which is an utter pain in the proverbial so yeah we're hoping to use the stealth approach probably go at dusk probably in around dusk is a good time to go to a location this is what I found anyway and another thing that I've adopted which a lot of urban explorers should do park half a mile away from the location folks because if the landowner does turn up they could block you in they could hold you hostage as such which what happened to some YouTubers that we know and uh, I'm not prepared to put up with that so 
A word of advice from Kernow EXP, please park at least half a mile away from your location, therefore you've got no worries of being stuck at the site, because <coughs> um, the YouTubers that we know, I'm not going to mention them, they drove in this uh, drive sort of thing, and there's only one way in and one way out. And they were held hostage for two hours. Well, hostage as such, because they couldn't. They, the owner didn't let them take the car out. But at the end of the day, it's a civil trespass. It's not a criminal offence. Um, if the landowner asks you to leave, and you leave, there's no problem, as long as you don't return. So, I work on this religiously. And I know there's a lot of YouTubers that do as well, but if you drive right outside the property and there's only one way in and one way out, then potentially you're there for a while. Now I ride a motorcycle, so it's a little bit easier for me because I can just slip in and slip out and gone. Basically, this is what we work on at Kernow EXP. I mostly work by myself. I do have a team members, and uh, there's about five of us in total that work together. The main ones are Chris and Sophie, <coughs> and my wife comes out now and again as well. My son has done, but he hasn't been out for a while, to be honest. Oh, the moon's come up. The moon's come up, folks. So if there's a gap in the canopy, we'll try and get the drone up again. So I'm not sure. There's no gap at the minute. So we can't get the drone up at the moment. We can't get the drone up at all at the moment because of this compass calibration rubbish. Absolute pain in the ass. I'm hoping that we can get that sorted. Can't see why not. Right, so we've got a bit of airspace here. So I think what we'll do is we'll drop you guys down for a second and we'll try to get airborne if we can. I can't promise anything, but we're going to try, folks. So let's drop you guys there a minute. Let's try and get this drone up again. Where we're aware of, away from because it was where we were a minute ago, there was other buildings around. So I'm not going to bother with any of the bits and pieces. We'll just basically try our best just to get the drone up. going to put the lights on it or anything like that. Just basic as can be. Alright, let's see if we can get it up now. Okay. 
Thank you. Well, what are the odds of that, folks? What are the odds of that? Bloody hell. What are the bloody odds of that? Pissing hell. So hopefully it will come back. Alright, so we need to set up these so we can distinguish how to get back.
Right. Hope you've seen that, folks. <coughs> so now, now that it's all working all right, what's the battery doing? 70%. We'll send her up again now. Hopefully you can see that. Compass calibration. That's those bloody lights, isn't it? Sure it is. I'm sure it's those bloody lights, you know. Nope, she won't go up again. Oh well, we got her up, so that's the main thing. She does fly. It's ridiculous. Right folks, we're packing up and we'll uh, we'll carry on down the road. As we get packed up, as soon as we get going, I'm trying to get going with this, all this stuff fighting against you, slow you down. Right. That's all done. Let's get that back in there. I don't understand why I need a network connection. It's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Gonna have to sort that out when we get back to base. <coughs> Definitely gotta sort that out. Network connection. Don't need a network connection for the fucking drone. Stupid cunts.
Let's just check the Right, yeah, we've got one there, that's cool. Right, we're in airplane mode. That's all sorted. Okay, sorry about that, folks. How many minutes we got there? Fifty-six minutes, holy shit. Can't believe I've been pissing about for an hour. God. Sorry about that, folks. This video is a bit long-winded. As I said earlier, things don't always go to plan. <laughs> um, that's a classic example. So we get down to the gate and then we'll sign off. Um, if you enjoyed our behind-the-scenes cock-up, then press the like button. And, uh, yeah, there'll probably be more videos like this, which uh, will probably go on Kernel EXP blogs, or it might go on the outtakes. This video is not really suitable for the main channel, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, what a bollock. <laughs> there we are. Never mind. Not to panic. It's all part of the grand plan. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Don't know. Oh, never mind, eh? Yeah, so if you wasn't aware before, we're we're working with another YouTuber tomorrow night. It won't entail the drone. <laughs> it's uh I don't want to say too much about it because uh it may not happen, but I've got permission to get to have a look at a location with this other YouTuber that does paranormal things. So we worked with them already. So that's another clue. So I won't say any more now because I don't really want to give it away at the moment. Because like I said, there might be some reason it may not happen. So you know, I don't want to spoil it. So we're walking down the old Newham branch which was the original railway into Truro. Truro is the capital city of Cornwall. I was born here many years ago. <laughs> this is a cycle path now and a walkway for a lot of people. It's uh, been on it a few times now. Grandad told me about it when it used to be the railway. In its later life it was a freight only line steam days so there's going to be another video uploaded after this one and it will be a motorcycle ride from where we are back to red roof if you've seen any paranormal stuff let us know and time stamp it and uh, we'll research it back. I don't know if there is anything down here. There might be. We are in night vision, of course. So the chances of that are fairly, fairly reasonable. I think we're not far from the gate now. The night vision is good on the camera here, but. Uh, it, like if you take the torch, because obviously I'm using the O light at the moment on my head, the H2R, and if you turn that off, yeah, you can see, but you can't see as much with the actual aid of the torch, you know, because the torch is, uh, it's just amazing, folks. We've used these torches quite extensively now. Highly recommend them, but uh, the, the downside is O light are not making the H2R anymore. They're not selling them, I believe. You might be lucky to get one on eBay, but uh, they are awesome. I got two, and uh, there's a, there's a newer version, which is called the Pirin, 
which is basically the same but slightly different. Good torch, might get one eventually, but at the moment I can't justify because these two are awesome. Awesome. We've also got the other O-lights, we've got the Seeker 2, whoops, which is a good torch, and we've got the Wire X Turbo. So I've got this one for like everyday use, Seeker 2 for like walks and stuff like that, and the Warrior X for if you need to survey something at night, then that's the boy for it because it froze the light. Like I said on one of the previous videos, it really froze the light. Apparently, 1,000 meters, so well, that takes some believing, really. But uh, yeah, there we are. I don't think we're far off now. Yes, there we are, folks. It's gone a bit colder here now. Ooh. I don't need a peewee. I'm gonna have to sign off in a minute because I need a Wurzik. Cycle network number three that says. You can imagine the trains thundering through here. They probably wouldn't have gone too fast. Probably 25, something like that. No, we're not far now. I see. The only downside about filming with this camera is I can't edit it. It's going to have to stay raw. I uh, can't download it from this onto the phone. It goes straight onto the PC. I can probably put a, the usual green sticker on at the beginning. But that is it. Can't put any music on this, can't put any text on it. So whenever we use this camera, the footage is raw and unedited, which sometimes is good, but not always. Well, we're now approaching the gate. for old P now. Alright, now see the gate. You can now just see it. You guys will see it in a second. I think I'm gonna I think what it is with the drone is it needs an update and I think that's what the big issue is. Once it's had that update we should be sorted. It's just because I had to download the app again, which is an utter pain in the proverbial. But at least we did get it up tonight. The drone, that is. <laughs> right, so here we are, folks. End of the video now. So we'll see you again soon. This will be on the blogs and the outtakes. It won't be on the main channel. So, yeah, there we are. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.